to April. So this video is for career and money in April for your rising sign specifically. You can watch it for your sun sign or any other part of your chart, but this video right here is going to tell you why you should be watching for your rising sign specifically, especially in my readings, but basically every reading concerning career and money. Um, the general readings are right here and that's what they look like if you want to figure out what's going on overall themes for your sun sign and then we've got our love readings that are coming up soon so if you like these videos at all please give them a thumbs up and subscribe so you know when the new ones are coming out don't forget to hit that notification bell so you're alerted okay so this month what is going on in career and money what does it look like in general is theme number one number two what do we have to look forward to number three what's going to be your biggest annoyance number four what do we need to look more closely at and then number five the general advice and guidance for the month of April. Let's get started. Gemini. What's up for Gemini in career? Whoa. And in money. So Gemini. April is all about communicating with others and therefore hey. achieving your fucking A. Okay. Gemini. For you in career, this is a month where you're going to want to be communicating with others about what it is that you want for your long-term plan. So this might be, hey, I really want to work in this field and then other people give you a job opportunity perhaps down the road. Or, hey, um, I'm going to make this like, I have time to make a huge social media campaign really talking about the business that I'm building or the one that I've already established. Okay, this month is all about communicating your long-term goals because other people are going to notice that and therefore can be helpers or along the way for you. Does that make sense? You, you can therefore achieve it if you just get the word out there as to what it is that you want. So um, in regards to money, they're saying for a lot of Geminis, this is not a, um, for the, okay, so they kind of want to split this two ways. So for the Geminis that are not necessarily affected financially by coronavirus, this is a good time for you, actually. Maybe because if you're in America, the federal government's going to give you, you know, some sort of a stimulus or something like that, or maybe for other reasons. But for Geminis that are not affected by that money-wise, they're like, this is an awesome time to feel a lot of joy, but not necessarily talking about it. So keeping that career and the... Um, the career and the money separate from each other. You can talk about what you want for your future and what you want for your business or you know, for um, your future career goals, but not necessarily tie them to your current financial situation when other people are struggling because then you look like a douchebag, okay? But as far as those of you who are struggling during this coronavirus period you, or are a, not, okay, if you were struggling before it, that's not, and you're still struggling, that's not what I mean. I mean like if your position or your job or your business is affected by it, here's what I wanted to say to you. They're saying think about the long-term plan that you have here. That's still gonna be on track when this is all over, okay? So it kind of ties back to career um, for many of you, but your long-term financial plan, it's still in motion. They're saying this is one of those things that we might kind of learn something and make different habits from, like um, kind of like after the Great Depression, how a lot of our great grandparents started like hiding their cash in their freezer or under a mattress instead of putting it in banks because they didn't trust banks anymore. Um, you might take things away from here, from this circumstance that changed the way that things go in the future, but your long-term financial plan should still be the same and it's actually on track. Okay, I feel like maybe it was Capricorn or Scorpio that had something very similar. So you have, if you have that in your chart as well, it might be extra very much the case for you. But um, your long-term plan is still in motion. This is just a blip on the radar, essentially. So what do you have to look forward to in career and in money if you don't fit either of those circumstances? And they're like, you know, basically things are going to balance out despite coronavirus stuff, okay? And this reading isn't supposed to be about that, but it keeps coming up for Gemini specifically. So I just wanna bring that up here. Um, they're saying a lot of you might not love the current circumstances or feel super excited about it, but 
it's going to change. It's going to pass. Maybe not immediately, but at some point it will. And things kind of seem pretty stable for Gemini's overall. So what's going to be your biggest annoyance in career and in money this month? So in career, it's like, oh, fuck, what do I need to brace myself for? And then in money, it's just kind of like, how do I stay you know, very much in this like empress energy of I'm good, I love myself, I love my circumstances, like very positive stuff without really communicating it outward in a way that, um, you know, other people, and other people's feelings aren't our fucking problem, right? But um, in a way that other people don't get annoyed by. And it's not to say you're annoying, I'm not saying that at all. It's just like the way that you might put things out there this month um, surrounding how you're feeling and how you're doing might be off-putting to other people who don't feel the same. And like I said, that's not your problem. But that being said, we do want, we do kind of need these other people in our quarter, in our corner to kind of move us forward in the direction we want to go when we talk about what it is we desire instead of where we're at right now. Okay. So, um, what is it that we need to look more closely at? And yeah, it's annoying that we have to kind of stifle ourselves, but that's just kind of the case. Um, what is it we need to look more closely at? They're like, you just need to focus generally on what you're already doing, not shifting course, not changing your plans. Now, um, what is the general overall guidance for career and money? And they're just saying, we might not feel confidence for things that are not within our control, but you know, trying to control them isn't going to make us feel more confident anyway because we literally can't even. And so they're saying things will change overnight, like in a very positive way for you. So just be super organized and stay on track and really, really focus on what it is that you do want. So I love you, Gemini, and I'll see you next month.